Hey, what's up guys, it's P9 back at it again and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I have 100 useful unturn tips and tricks that might not be new to veteran players, but definitely very useful for a lot of beginners out there. There might also be some tips and tricks that are also new to the very experienced players. Without further ado, let's get right in the video. Use third person in PvP in order to see around corners more efficiently. Set your third person bind to something easily accessible in order to use it quickly at any time. Press R to rotate items in your inventory. Right clicking an item in your inventory and then pressing a number between 3 and 0 will let you bind your items to hotkeys. Use pickaxes or jackhammers to mine metal nodes for easy metal. Secret washing machines exist on almost every map and have ranger loot spawns, meaning you can even find rocket launchers in there. You can one hit a player without helmet using the military knife. You can climb trees and unturned by either jumping in a sweet spot or using an umbrella. Maxing out parkour and cardio makes it much easier. You can rotate plates by holding your right click and by holding control and right click you can even snap them. You can quickly equip, de-equip, drop or pick up items by holding control and clicking left or right click. If you want to build high up in the sky you can also place the plates without rotating them all. This however requires max parkour. Just build the plates in the order shown right here and you can easily get up by standing in the center of it. Using an umbrella makes that much easier as well. You can get up to one cosmetic or weapon skin every single day. The red dot or other close range sights don't sway, so it's much more efficient to use them for a DMR on close range. If you turn the water quality all the way up, you can see way better through the water. You can get to hard to reach places using a bat, claiming it, suiciding and respawning at home. The easiest way to kill zombies is by standing still, hitting them, going back a bit, hitting them again and so on. You can see through water by using third person and tilting your camera like shown right here. Recommended is max FOV settings as you can see way more. If you use night vision goggles at night, other player can see them glow in the dark. However, this is not the same for the night vision scope. Other players see a red glow around the tactical laser. However, the rangefinder only appears glowy on your side. Other players cannot see them. Night vision goggles do not work through water, it blocks their visibility. When prowned or crouched, your guns have way more accuracy and less recoil. There's a way to kill megas without taking damage, by simply finding some sort of box or high ground, which exists on every single map really. Just get on one of those, lay down and start knifing the zombies. You can even do an entire horde peeking with that threat without taking one damage. However, if you do not play on easy mode, there is going to be spitter zombies that will ruin that threat for you. You can change your weapon field of view in the unturned files. By right clicking the game in your library, going to properties and browse local files. You then look for the preferences JSON file and there's a bunch of values you can change. After you're done make sure to save your file and restart the game. There you can also add skybox ambience to make the game look much better. Just change your skybox ambience from false to true and restart the game again. And voila, looks much better. You get XP by destroying these targets on every single map. Cars can swim, however you can possibly cross lakes with it if you get enough speed and the lake isn't too wide. You do not necessarily need a gas bus to do dead zone runs. Having enough vaccines or purification tablets is enough and having immunity skilled helps a lot. You're able to craft a makeshift scope and a suppressor. Grenades can be thrown much further when using Olympic in a random boost skill in the bottom right. If your inventory is very messy and you would like to sort it, just drop all clothes, put them on again and then put the items in one by one. If you have the unturned gold DLC, you can use multiple characters to store more loot. Every character has its own inventory, however some servers disable this feature on their server. There is a certain distance in where you cannot see bases as they aren't rendered in but can still see the players because they are rendered in. Whenever you're fighting a mega just prone as soon as it throws a rock. This is the easiest way to dodge those rocks and avoiding a lot of damage. You can use zombies to raid bases near zombie spawn points. You can refine berries by crafting two together to make one. It does not give drug-like effects like the unrefined berries, but it does give you hunger and thirst. Every scope has tick marks, which marks ballistic distances. You can use an oxygenator underwater for an underwater base. You can put lockers and plates on your vehicle to get more slots when farming and even protection if the vehicle isn't low caliber ammo proof. However, if you then break this vehicle, the lockers would also break and the loot would spread on the ground. You can repair bases in vehicles 
duplicates using a blowtorch. You can destroy trees and hide lockers or other crates in it. Once a tree grows back, no one is able to see them anymore. When you're flying around in a helicopter, go to your control settings and bind the fly keys to your arrow keys to make the controls much easier. If your vehicle is destroyed and starts to burn, you can still repair it using a blowtorch. Pretty cool, huh? On the multiplayer server, you never want to lock out in loot locations. Players usually appear on the map even before the loading screen is over and if zombies are right next to you, they could start attacking you and maybe kill you. There is a way to save and even transfer XP from one to another player using libraries. The wooden libraries can be accessed by other players, however the metal one only by your group members. Flares are a great way to distract zombies. You can use the sirenses in order to attract zombies from a greater distance than a horn. Secondary weapons and guns can be accessed even in water. If you join a server and get a bad spawn, just suicide to get a better one. However, if you do that multiple times, then you will start spawning on the same place over and over again. Don't travel directly on the road, instead travel alongside the road to reduce the risk of an ambush. Once you found a vehicle, make sure to place metal plates over the windows so that you can't be shot by others. If you're underwater and you need to go up, don't look in the sky and hold W. Press space to go up way quicker. Keeping an umbrella on you is a factor for jumping from large heights. It allows you to glide down slowly and without taking damage. However, it is enough to equip the umbrella in the last second before falling down. This way you don't get fall damage at all. Fire boss zombies do not take explosive damage. If you have the Unturned Gold DLC, you can set your skin color to completely green, matching the grass perfectly. This is a really cheesy way to get more camouflage on servers, but it works. If you don't have Unturned Gold, it's also better to just go full black as it's more camouflage during nights. When jumping and running at the same time, you barely make any footsteps. And when you're prone, you make literally no footsteps. Explosives can be used to make explosives arrows, which deal AOE damage and can kill players which are camping for example behind trees. It also deals a little bit of damage to structures. Members in your group are not protected against your explosives. When doing a horde beacon, keep it elevated because it can easily be broken by zombies. Also take care from the mega zombie, his rocks can also break the horde beacon. Fragmentation rounds deal a tiny bit of damage to bases. The shadow stalker is indeed the most powerful raiding weapon against sentries. You only need one shot to destroy a sentry. Tracer magazines lower your spread and on servers with ballistics enabled, they can be seen by a red glow. Shadow stalkers do not have any bullet drop. You can make splints with two scrap metal. They're usually being used to fix your lag when breaking it, but they can also be used as a healing item as they heal 10% per use. Running at an angle is slightly faster than running straight. Place a patrol outside of a city before you go in. That way if you do somehow die, you can respawn closer to the city and possibly get your loot back. When you're holding a structure like a ramp, click right click to rotate it. On maps other than Elva, thief clothes have the most storage other than backpacks. They're usually being found in ranger locations. Vehicles despawn in water after a while. The military muzzle as well as the ranger muzzles both hide flash and lower the recoil slightly. If you're trying to increase your reputation, healing other players that aren't attempting to actively kill you will raise it. Zombies are more aware at night, making them harder to distract. If you find food at low durability, you can use purification tablets to restore the quality to 100%. During Christmas, presents on the big trees can supply you with some mid to high tier loot. Make sure to break the present, as it's easier to pick up the loot that way. You can hide yourself in washing machines when you hear people coming near. You're able to shoot most vehicles tires to make them much worse controllable. If you see a car that you don't need, you can break it and let it explode to get some free metal scrap. Pay attention though, as it attracts zombies and other players. The APC is the best car in the game. Their tires can't be popped, they can only be damaged by high cal, have a lot of HP and can even swim. Eating raw animal meat gives you radiation, so make sure to cook the meat before eating it. If you have a bad PC and struggle with low FPS, you can lower the water quality as there's water under the map everywhere being rendered in every single second of the game. When there's a lot of items on the ground that you want to loot, use the nearby inventory to pick up items that way. It's much easier than pressing F of every single one. Make sure to always play on my Anton servers because they are simply the best ones. Always go prone when managing your inventory. You can craft clothes using leather you get from killing animals. On the Elva map, you can craft 4 metal scrap to 1 Elva can to save some inventory space. Later on, you can craft the can back to the scrap. 
taking all the good loot from the base on you before disconnecting is much more safer than leaving it in sight because of the possibility to get raided overnight, which let's be honest always happens in unturned. If you want to climb down a ladder and don't want to take fall damage, you can do this little trick to prevent fall damage. If you're making a wooden base, try to make it out of pine wood. This is the strongest of the three wood types. The worst one being birch. You can change your side colors by changing the hit marker color in the unturned settings. Look out for full moons, which are marked with the moon symbol in the bottom left. Not only do zombies give more XP during that phase, but they also spawn way faster, making it a perfect time to farm XP and items. Holding shift when sniping someone will stop the sweat way for a bit. You can craft an industrial gas can out of a couple portable gas cans. If you want to use a tank, always put plates or a locker on the second seat on top. That way no one is able to shoot you when you're at the cannon. The easiest way to get planks is not to use sticks to craft the planks. You simply need 4 metal scrap that you craft 2 metal sheets with. With those metal sheets you can then craft a handsaw. The handsaw is being used to get planks out of locks and even sticks out of planks. Blowtorches can not only be used to repair, they can also be used to damage players and zombies. By not holding the W key, shaking left and right and looking up, you're able to climb ladders faster. However, it's really hard to hit the perfect timing to actually make it faster than normal climbing. I really hope those tips and tricks were useful to some of you guys. If so, make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.